drop because of my shadow. Come on in here. It's one day of the day. <laughs> Trying to get these cattle home at when they come home the last time. Jumped the fence, now we've got the float. I'm gonna take them home in that because of this. Definitely not as good a day as the last time. I'm currently trying to stay hidden. Until they get past me, they're not going to them up. They're standing at the top of the hill, most of them there. There's another one or two down the bottom there behind this edge. <laughs> at least that'll be all of these guys home. That is really cold today. <laughs> Holding this camera with my fingers is gonna lose them, you know. <laughs> right. There we are, that's the last of them. I keep calling them Belgian blues, but they're British blues now, I think they call them. Well, that went okay. These calves know how to jump fences now, so they were this bit up the top in the contained area. They were not very nice to try and get on the trailer, they kept turning into the fences and you're just kind of shitting it a bit that they're going to jump the fence, but they only broke one stab this time and they went on the trailer eventually, so that was good. So now I'll take them down the road, we'll put them in the reed with the rest of the calves and uh, that'll be them for the winter. Might be a wee shuffle around, but that should be them. Uh, got a light meter with me as well, so I'm gonna try and test how bright the lights are on the farm. Uh, after seeing, was it Farm Theories video? So the cold keeps killing the battery on my GoPro. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just my batteries are terrible, my batteries might just not be that good for the GoPro or if it's just the cold, I always thought they lasted longer than this. <laughs> uh, but hi, so I've seen Farm Theory, he was on TikTok, I think he's on YouTube as well, and he done a video about how many lumens of light, how, how, he done a video about how much lux in the light, in the shed, in the shed there is and how it can affect how much milk the cows can produce so I thought I'd get a metre of my own after putting the shed lights in and we can see if we are producing the right amount of light and whether or not to leave them on all day to try and keep the same amount of light because as you can see the lights of today it's quite dull so they might need the lights on all day and I've been trying to leave the lights on but I'm arguing with dad he keeps switching them off I keep putting them back on and it's a constant fight. Um, so, I, but I'm wondering if leaving the lights on over the course of a week, whether that would start boosting the milk. And there is research to say that it would boost the milk potentially between was it one and a half liters two plus per cow. So, trying to work that out whether or not it'd be worth leaving the lights on all day, uh, whether it would boost the milk or not. So. It's quite interesting really, so I'm going to go test that the now and uh, find out the figures and see what it's like with the lights off, see what it's like with just the night lights on and see what it's like with full full blown lights on. Um, so aye, it's quite a, might be quite an interesting video to make and see what we can do and then I can argue with a point with Dad because I've got the meter saying, look the sheds are bright, this is the evidence, leave them on. <laughs> So, aye, right, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Come on in. Come on in here. Come on. So I've actually got a load to feed. So while it's mixing, I'll go in the shed 
and sort all this out for the light detecting but in between I'll need to find out what is actually good and what's bad <laughs> and for those of you who's wondering I have not changed the way I'm opening these bales this is the best way I can 100% vouch for it being better <laughs> It splits the bale, takes pressure off the wagon, all in the all the wrap off, all in a one up. Perfect. Can't really ask for much more than that, to be honest. <laughs> Even the wind's helping this time. Beautiful stuff. Plastic off, net off, bail split. Oh, a lot less for the wagon to do. Trust the old 140. We puff a smoke and away she goes. I'll leave that churning for a minute, let the haylage chew its way for a good mix. And I'll go in the shed here. Got a lux meter here. See how much light's getting produced here. We done bilco going the other day, so it goes under the shed and away out to the field. So it's those guys up the top there I'm feeding, and there's the the ones we just brought in there needing a load as well in that shed. So right, it's a lot brighter now, but it's just how much light is it that we need so from what I was told by shut up farm theory was you want about 150 to 200 lux in your shed and uh, when the lights are off it's very dull in here so I've got this thing and it won't lie to me you can't it won't lie you know because it's an actual meter so what it does is the that's the sensor there, and it'll tell me exactly how much light's in the shed. So, so that's 443, so that's pretty good. And that's, I'll just go under the middle of this one here. So it's dropped 100 in the middle. So it's reasonably bright in here, but I'll need to switch the light off and see what the difference is. Just wonder what the light is like outside. But I dare say this shed will be better anyway because it's got as many skylights. But it was very dull this morning, so the, that's why I put the lights on. But the light off, but I'm under a skylight here and it's saying 400. Then over here, under this bit here, it's way down at 95, 100. <laughs> so, it's whether I just leave that on to try and get light over here, but that just might be... That might be too far. <laughs> but coming up here, and we're sitting at the edge of this shed with that light there, and it's 100. Which doesn't really seem ideal. But over here it's 270, so I don't really know if the night light would make a difference. I think the night light would, uh, you know, only having two or three lights on might not work the best. Let's 
see what it's like over here. See, that's not ideal. Really bright in the middle, but doing the sides, it's really proven not the best. So I'll switch that light on there and see if that makes a difference to the edge light. I said 150 to 200 lux, so it's varying a wee bit. That dropped because of my shadow. Yeah, that light over there is not making a difference actually. I just wonder if it would make a difference because of where their heads are sitting. Stop licking me. So that was actually quite interesting for me, even though the sheds look bright, they're not bright enough in certain areas, so it looks like a wider spread of lights would be better, but I don't think we're going to be changing that, we've just put them in like that. Uh, but now I've got the argument that the lights have to stay on all the time to make it worth it, because if they go off, well it's obviously going to go lower than the figure we've seen there at the edge of the shed, so... Uh, Oh well, if we leave the lights on, see how much the milk increases by, but it was uh, one and a half to two and a half litres per cow per day, so uh, going by the bottom end, it should put them up, you know, nearly, it should, should go up about 200 litres, you know, so I'll try and keep them on, argue with Dad a wee bit, and try and keep them on all day for a few days to a week and see what happens to the milk so hopefully that'll help <laughs> we'll see if it helps anyway we've never had that amount of lights before the sheds have never been as bright so it's uh, n could make a difference i think <laughs> it's nicer to work in sheds that have got lights on them by the way <laughs>